a comfortable. I bless God for you. Lift up your hands. Say, Lord, I bless my life. I bless you for my life. Say, Lord, I bless you for my life. You celebrate Jesus in body. God, I bless you for my life. My very life. The life I'm living is of the Lord. And I bless God for this life. I like to speak to the people of God that are close with me and far from me. Glory be to God that science and technology can take the message of God all over the world. Number one is the peace. When someone wants to talk about settlement, settlement, the peace in family, the peace in the community, society, the peace in the nation, the whole world. Today's morning, I received a very sad message, very sad one. I'll discuss about that message. I tell you what God has said that is about to happen in this nation. But before then, I want to take that um, a little example from the message which I received from God to let the world to let you know about your very self. Are so many things that is happening to us today. Some people are healthy today. And tomorrow you are not healthy. Some people are living peaceful today. And tomorrow you are facing crisis. Some states in this nation, in all the nation, they are living peaceful in their state sometimes ago. Another time they are living and running up and down. So many questions I've been asking God every time in my life. I have to, I used to be opportune to go to bed early. And at the same time, I used to be opportune to wake early. So many thoughts used to come to me, imagination, sometimes revelation. I don't know what is going on in me, but I am think I'm trying to be that messenger that God wants me to be. At the same time, trying to know the mind of God towards us. I read the holy book. I let you know something about you, are very self. Close promises. At the same time, close disappointment. The feeling you have for him, the feeling you have for her, automatically the feeling disappears. You don't see her as you've seen her before. You don't see him as you've seen him before. Something is wrong up there. I don't want us to discuss about it. The people that pays attention to you today, tomorrow they are not interested in your life. What is going on? There's something you and I are going to fix in our life. You are looking at it, you have made it. You are looking at it, you have conquered it. But men looking at it in the other way around, you find out that you are still a beginner. What is going on? I'll take you to the holy book. The 
then I began to answer the questions. Mighty God. Taking people the book of Numbers, chapter 30, from verse 1 and 2. And Moses speak unto the heads of the tribes concerning the children of Israel, saying, This is the things which the Lord has commanded. Verse 2. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swore an oath to burn his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according all that proceeded out of, of his mouth. If a man vowed a vow, he shall not break the vow and must keep all that he had vowed unto the Lord. I will start from the head to the leaves. A man has been called to be the prime minister, the governor, the president. On the day of swearing in, can't you hear that language? Swearing in, he took an oath before the people, before the judge, and before the land. I will serve. In truth, I will serve. You have taken an oath. In judiciary in the house, before the judge were trying to judge you to give the testimony or to testify what had happened between you and your opponent, you take a vow with holy book. Some the holy book they are the holy book in a Christian, the Bible, in Islamic, the Quran, and Jewish, the Torah. The holy book is the book of covenant. The book that when looking at it, reading it, you now find out that God created you, that God is the owner of heaven and earth. Then that word, the holy book will tell you the do's and the don'ts of God. The principle, they stand to the commandment, the law. Then you raise your hand upon, say, whatever I will say in this court of the law shall be truth and nothing but the truth. I swear unto God. The same book as the very book that God has given Moses on the mountain of Sinai, it called the two tablet stone. And God placed his word. And God commanded the people of the Lord, the people to do. And the book was put in on a gasket called the ark. And that ark called the ark of covenant. So it's special to God. According to the scholars, in process of time, the book from tablet was transformed or translated or reprint to a, a scroll. From scroll to paper form, but see the same word of God. Okay. The time I began this ministry, when I was asking God to give me the opportunity to plant a temple for him, there are so many vows I have vowed. Father, if you give me this opportunity, I will serve every Sunday. I will be here every activities. And I will give my very best in the work. That was my vow. Sometimes the time you join a new church, there are so many vows you have vowed. How to serve God. How to worship God. That was your vow. And in the process of that vow you have made in a hidden place, many prophecies come after the vows that the man of God did not know that there's something you have vowed to God. 
in that vow that motivated the spirit of God to give a message through the man of God. Thus says the Lord, I'm going to do this for you. From this time to the other time, you are going to see this. And we say, Amen. But when you began to change, the prophecy never comes. Your vow has been broken. The prophecy has to be broken. Do you think I'm talking to you? Many things that happen to us, talking about the sentiment of a lie, if you are not settled after you had pray, 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 can you sit down and take yourself backward? There's something that the Hebrew called Yahuman Vinara, the old time religion, your old time life. So many things you have promised that I'm going to be doing. I'll be doing, I'll be doing. Have you stopped doing that? Now people in Christian life, people in Muslim family, people in Jewish family, they never remember everything they had said. When God created Adam, he made a vow to Adam. Say, Adam, take this, take that. And Adam accepted with God. When Adam be began to misbehave, the wife misbehave. Then God misbehave and chase them out of the garden of Eden. In the book of Apostle Paul, we cannot be a sinner and an expert in the grace. And when the grace is given to you, you trying to abuse the grace. The grace abuses you. The vow you had made as a governor, you have broke the vow. Do not expect the state to be in the text or the vision you want it to be. I take you to the holy book in the book of uh, Sidon, prayer books, known in English, the book of Psalms. If God did not protect the city, if God did not protect the family, the house, it is useless for security to walk up and down. So when you abuse the grace from the beginning of your life, Watch how it's going to be. Watch it out. No matter how you're trying to pretend that things is going well with you, in you, you are dying in silence. And so many people are sick. Sickness without curing. Because you have broke the vow. He said in his word, word, I will torture you and discipline you with all kinds of diseases. In the book of Living, to verse 26. I will torture you. So, so many things that happen to us, family, a student, do not think, so many people, listen, that's opportunity you made a man, very good man for you. And out of selfishness, out of stupidness, you start breaking the vow you have with the man. And you think that if I'm dumping him, I'm going to see many men, you will never see like that original person you have met before. Original is scarce, but fake is everywhere. You're not celebrating? The love of God never departs from anybody, but you has departed. You have departed from the love of God. Why is it is happening to me like that? Sit down. Look at yourself. Everything I had said. You know, I'm always seeing young men, young men like coming to me. They are warned. You see, they're making a lot of promises. Man of God, if this happening, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'll be looking at you. I said in my mind, I'll say it in my mind, man mortal. Do not promise what you cannot do. 
People make all kinds of promises they cannot do or keep. You make all kinds of promises you cannot keep. And that is the issue we are having today. That is the point. And some people think that after said and done, when you have done everything you want to do, then when you come back and start where you stop, never works like that. Never works like that. Do you think that you are too special than others? The answer is no. Listen, some of you here, you came from nothing family, but you are something today. Listen, some of you here, of your mates here, they came from a very weighty family, but today they are nothing. But you that came from nothing family, today you are something. Are you getting what I'm saying? Vows which hold the attention of God towards us. Vows which hold the promises of God towards us. Vow which hold the grace of God. Then we reach our destination. Some people, when they start getting little, little, a little step, a little movement, a little, you know, that opportunity, you are using it to oppose others. You are using it to, you know, hurting people. You are using it to abuse others. Do not think that you are too special than others. Any year is not special than others. I am not special. So many prominent politicians, they are sick without medication. No medication in the whole world can solve their problem of sickness. Why? They have broke their vows. And out of proud, pride, they cannot go back and start where they, and, and be, and start where they have stopped. Pride. All the days of my life, I say, God, let me be your servant. I try my possible best to be the servant of God. Learn how to keep everything you had said. If you're not ready for relationship, don't make a vow. If you're not ready for business, don't make a vow. If you're not ready to take the position in the family, do not make vow. Because vow has something to do divine. Am I the only person that has done that? You are not the only person. I know Jesus made a statement in his word that the road that leads to life is very narrow. Only few enter. But the road that leads to destruction, many goes down there. That's why you are not the only person with that. People die in chain as you, are, as you want to die. You hold this person and hold this person. Let's go. That's how people die. Because they are blind. But a wise person always in a separate way. People call you names. Call you Mugu. They call you this. They call you that. Keep what you have with God. Remember what you told him early. When talking about increasing life, he's talking about being a born again and in Jewish life entering into Mount Zosa, just like entering into baptism or sacrament of baptism in Greek. Now, you made a vow, I'm going to serve, worship. I'm holding this camera. I'm doing this. Tomorrow, you, you think that you're too special. Not knowing there is danger on the way. Agreement you have with God and man. Keep it. In relationship, love is supposed to grow. But hardly you see love growing. In marriage, in outside relationship, we made a lot of bad because we're crazy then. But within a space of time, it will disappear. And I expecting God to re renew it. Impossible. You destroy your home. You destroy your life. You destroy your business. You destroy what you have with God. You are the one that destroy it out of selfishness. Pride. You destroy this continent. 
You are the one that destroyed it. You broke the vow you made the day of swearing it. You destroyed this state. You are the one that destroyed this community. Because you are not faithful. You are not faithful. You are the one that destroyed it. When you come back to God, when you decided to change a new life, start new life, start now, and everything we normalize. Believe what I'm telling you. People of God, you are blessed. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Please, may you rise. I like to worship God. But these hymns, oh Lord my God, I pray for somebody. When I am on some wonders, consider all. I want to let you know that whenever you come in the presence of God, you are coming to Him. Jesus has been on a dinner with his disciples and somebody walked out from him. He was called a Judas. We worship God. We worship. Thank you. We consider everything that God has done in the life. How great is the Almighty God. How great is you, O oh Father. And I'm telling you, wherever you are, God loves you. Renew your vow. Reborn your life. Be faithful to God and His faithfulness will follow you. I pray to God, the God of mercy, to have mercy upon your soul. I pray to God to have mercy upon your calling on this planet. 
I ask the mercy of God upon your family. I ask the mercy of God upon whatever you stand for. May God be merciful unto you. May he consider you and bring a new life, new opportunity from now henceforth in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Celebrate Jesus, somebody. Thank you. Please make yourself comfortable.